He lay face down in the desert sand, clutching a six-gun in his hand. Shot from behind, I thought he was dead, for under his heart was an ounce of lead, but the spark still burned, so I used my knife, and late that night I saved the life of Ringo, Johnny Ringo. I nursed him till the danger passed, the days went by, he mended fast, and then from dawn till setting sun he practiced with that deadly gun. Hour on hour I watched and all, no human being could match the draw of Ringo, Johnny Ringo. One day we rode the mountain crest, I went east and he went west. I took to law and wore a star while he spread terror near and far. With blood and lead he gained such fame. All through the West they feared the name of Ringo, Johnny Ringo. I always knew someday I'd face the test, which one of us would be the best. And sure enough, the word came down that he was holed up in the town. I left the posse out in the street, and I went in alone to meet Ringo, Johnny Ringo. They say my speed was next to none, but my lightning draw had just begun when I felt the blast that stunned my wrist and the gun went flying from my fist. And I was staring down the bore of the deadly forty-four of Ringo, Johnny Ringo. That's the only time they say they seen him smile as he lowered his gun and then he said to me, we're even, friend. And so at last I understood that there was still a spark of good in Ringo, Johnny Ringo. I blocked the path of his retreat, but he veered and walked out into the street where a dozen guns spit fire and lead, and a moment later he lay dead. The town began to shout and cheer, no one was there shed a tear for Ringo, Johnny Ringo. The story spread throughout the land that I had beaten Ringo's hand, and it was just the years, they say, that made me put my guns away. But on his grave they can't explain the tarnished star I left above the name of Ringo, Johnny Ringo.